Well done. There is just one last obstacle before the throne room. The beast that was used to break through the force field into the throne room lies ahead. No doubt it has slain its Sith handlers and now has a taste for human blood. Ignore the beast! Into the throne room! The Queen must die! Don't blast it all! What is it? Something you of the guards. Clear the way to the Queen. This ends here, Vaklu. So, you've come to us. I had thought coming to Doxon might cause our paths to intersect. And I see that I'm right. But it turns out you were the enemy all along. The connection between these places and you was stronger than I knew. I had heard you were working with Vaklu, but I didn't want to believe it. Why are you sided with him? So this is all about money. You're just a common mercenary now. So how do we handle this? Don't expect me to be too forthcoming with answers. You've chosen your path. I will not help you along it. The bond between some masters and their apprentices is well known, but to that degree, I will not act as your guide anymore. If you haven't found your own enlightenment, you probably never will. You had such great potential, and it was all wasted. You think I would tell you that? I'm no fool. They're safer with the Sith hunting them down. Are you done with your questions yet? They tire me. And it appears they have new blood with them. You probably want to know more about them. Where they're coming from. Who leads them? What are their weaknesses? Well, I won't tell you anything. You'll have to discover that on your own. I hope... I hope that that isn't what set you down this path. We had reasons for our actions. But the answers you seek will only help you down the road you've chosen. I'm sorry to the Jedi, student, and friend I once knew. But I don't know who you are. No, I won't. If you intend to kill Queen Talia, I will defend her. Your goal may not be to fight me, but this is the consequence of your choices. Let's see what you've learned. Let's <laughs> go. 
I told the other masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you. To try to understand what happened to you. What a fool I was. And now you are no doubt seeking to destroy the Jedi. But the remaining Jedi will gather again very soon. This, at least, you cannot prevent. Telos. But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I don't know what you mean. Atris? But I thought she died with the rest on Katar. You've met other Jedi, I can tell. But you won't find me an easy opponent. I will not give you the benefit of my wisdom, Dark One. Very well. Perhaps my knowledge will sway you from your dark designs. I was one of the only council members who believed in you. Part of me still does. But what do you have to say for yourself? When you stood before us in the council chamber on Coruscant, we felt something from you we'd never felt before. It was if the Force had died within you, leaving you hollow. We live our whole lives in touch with the Force, in touch with life all around us. And you had a gift in that regard. You formed bonds so easily, and they flowed deep between you and others. To see such emptiness in the Force standing before you, it's not an easy thing to face. Whatever is attacking us, it's leaving something in its wake. Something we haven't felt since you stood before us in judgment. The deaths of these Jedi, the destruction of Qatar, all of these things are leaving behind echoes. Like the one we felt from you in the council chamber. It was clear to us, to me, that we had to find you. But we couldn't call you back from exile because we didn't know where you'd gone. I know that all too well. I came here to find them, to trace them to their source. The war on Duxon and Onderon. I thought that perhaps the tragedies that occurred here were concealing them. And now, here you are. You always had deep connections to the Force, but such connections can corrupt one's spirit, as has happened with you. When I first sparred with you during your training as a Padawan, I could tell that you were different, but I did not expect you to fall so far. What do you expect me to say? You defied the Council, you followed Revan to war, I know why you did it, but in so doing, much more harm was done. All those lives during the Mandalorian War, and all those you served beside. Too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the price for having such connections. Apparently, your self-inflicted wounds would not heal. And now that they've festered, you've come looking to the Jedi for vengeance. As if we were somehow responsible for the results of your actions. Do you really think I would tell you, even if I knew? If that's why you're here, then you've come here in vain. Cut you off from the Force. Why do you think the Council was responsible for that? Your misplaced blame explains much. But the only one responsible for your present state is you. So you heard what we said. These questions I cannot answer. This is something the Council must answer, not, not I. You must understand. This is hard for me. Especially after all you've done. Did you know when I was training you that I considered making you my Padawan? I didn't. The demands of the Jedi Council were too great. But I considered you a friend. I even tried to convince you to become a Jedi Guardian. We could have used someone like you. So the decision that had to be made was not easy. But I won't say anything more. That sounds like the bond that often forms between master and apprentice. But to that degree? You always did form connections to others. Strong ones. Even when you were a student. But what you are describing is beyond me. Undeniable, 
But it won't be enough. What? Damn you. You must die. I will not have you teach the others the secrets of the Jedi. Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Batlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny, one larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Her mastery of the blade has improved, but there is more to leadership than skill with a blade. Jedi, do you want to take care of her? I will not forget this. Do what you will. I will not fall easily. A sacrifice was necessary to ensure our future. This could not have happened without you. You will be given everything I promised you. I risked a great deal by asking for your assistance, as did you in helping. Your reward is well earned. Because I had faith in you. I know who you are. You are the last of the Jedi. 
hunted by the Exchange, the Sith, and the Hutspawn knows who else. They've thrown everything they have to capture and kill you, but you cannot be stopped. If anyone could save us from our fate, it was you. After we've secured the city, and that will take time, you will always be welcome here. If the Republic hunts you down as a price of your ambition, this place will be a haven to you. I will never forget what you have done this day. As do I, Jedi. As do I. Your shuttle is awaiting you. After the Civil War is taken care of, which will take time, you are welcome back. Welcome back from Onderon. How did you fare? That is good news. The universe tends toward unity and balance, and you served as its catalyst in Onderon. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action. My assistant? Oh, right. What is it? I believe he has it in his head that my relative size is comical. I find his disparaging beeps and whistles to be quite annoying. I thought only utility droids had size issues. If I am to continue to operate with him, I would appreciate it if you spoke with him about this. Otherwise, I will be forced to find a more permanent solution. 